we're back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my next guest is a very funny comedian, and this is her first time on the show. So please give a really warm welcome to Janine DiTullio. Ah, thank you. That's nice. How are you? Great, great. I'm doing well. I actually live here in New York. I've lived here for about three years. And uh, life is hard here. You know, it's actually changed my view on things. Like now I think assisting suicide should be legal. <laughs> Especially if the person you're assisting has a rent controlled apartment. <laughs> I remember when I first moved here, I was so nervous and scared. I was walking down the street, and then I remembered something my dad used to tell me. He used to say, Janine, change never hurt anyone, except when it's dropped from the Empire State Building. <laughs> I just saw my parents recently. I went home. Uh, I hadn't seen my mom in like two months, so I show up at the door. This is how she greeted me. She goes, honey, you're not coming in this house with that baggy jacket on. Why don't you just give that jacket to some fat person? I said, you know, if you want the jacket. <laughs> She criticizes me about the way I dress, which parents do. You know, parents and kids, different priorities when it comes to buying clothes. This year, uh, my mom bought me a polka dot monogrammed shirt. I go, Mom, I'm never going to wear this. She goes, Honey, it's flame retardant. <laughs> All this means to me is I'm going to be on fire longer. You know? <laughs> I'm not ready to have kids. I know that. I went out to lunch the other day with my friend and her, her new baby. and. Uh, my friend had to run out for a minute, so I go, oh my god, what do I do? She goes, just give him some vegetables. Turns out jalapeno is not his favorite. Uh, <laughs> starts crying, screaming in the restaurant. Everyone's looking, you know. I, I couldn't communicate with him. Finally, his mother came back. She immediately had that mother's intuition. She picked him up, took him outside the restaurant. I look out the window, he's smiling. I thought, how did she know that baby wanted to smoke? <laughs> niece, which is close enough to having a child. She's eight. She asks a lot of questions, you know. I try to be honest with her. Like, she asked me, did Christopher Columbus discover America? Hard question, right? So I go, well, Christopher Columbus didn't really discover America. Then I sat her down, and I explained to her that Christopher Columbus was a misguided navigator with a drinking problem who brutally raped and murdered the Indians. <laughs> She went to school the next day and told the teacher. <laughs> she got in so much trouble because she didn't say Native Americans. <laughs> the way things are these days. My niece is, uh, her name is Kaylee. Actually, her real name is Kirsten, but everyone calls her Kaylee, which I think is weird, you know, because that's not very close to her real name. But I remember as a kid, there would always be someone like this in grade school. And when the teacher would call attendance, their real name would be nothing like the one you knew them by. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, we had this girl, Betsy Burns. Turns out her real name was Jimmy the Weasel Fracagione. Uh, the United States is a good place to grow up and be a kid, though. Uh, the, the average girl in America owns 10 Barbie dolls. Yeah. Give you a comparison. The average girl in China makes Barbie dolls. So, uh, <laughs> I got to see my family. I was home. Uh, well, it was actually kind of a sad reason. My grandfather had passed away. Uh, it was a little weird. My granddad was 93 years old, lived a very long life, died in his sleep, and we cremated him. Uh, the weird part is that we had to cremate him twice because he was wearing his flame retardant pajamas. <laughs> Monogram, DOA. Uh, ever take up more responsibility than you can handle and then you're just bummed out about it afterwards yeah yeah this is what I did I, I promised some people I'd water their plants and take care of their animals while they went on vacation bad idea they're farmers <laughs> uh, I, I don't have a green thumb you know I'm trying to do what I can to help the environment I started a compost pile um, it's in the back seat of my car so, you know, a Big Mac and a hitchhiker decompose at exactly the same rate. That's, that's how that works. Animals have uh, weird rituals. Female uh, spiders, immediately after mating, uh, will eat the male spider. 
Did you know this? I guess female spiders know that life insurance is easier to collect than child support. <laughs> That's the way that works. <laughs> uh, well, people have weird rituals, too. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but in certain parts of the world, parts of Africa and parts of the Middle East, it's still a ritual. Uh, when a woman turns of age, the men there will cut off her, um, well, they'll do a clitorectomy. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I heard this. I thought, my God, no matter how much I complain about our country, I should be thankful this will never be a ritual here, because the men here don't know where the clitoris is. <laughs> We'll take a break. We'll be right back.